Welcome to the foot tutorial for the Huga Owl for Underground Crafter by me, Katie, from Hook by Katie. Um, today we're going to assemble the feet for our owl so he has a nice stable surface and those neat bird feet. Um, birds have a unique shaped foot because they have three toes that face forward and then those toes come together and the foot comes off back this way with almost like a fourth toe. Um, a lot of them even have a claw back there, but um, that fourth toe is where they put all their weight. So we need to make sure our owl has that fourth toe so he can stand up. So in order to make a foot of this kind, we're going to make two loose toes for each foot and bind them off. And I have the tails tucked in here so that they're nice and out of the way. And then the third toe we make exactly the same way. But instead of binding off, we leave our, our yarn attached to the ball because we're going to use the yarn attached to this third toe to attach all three toes and then make our last uh, piece of our foot over here. With the last toe finished, we are starting on round nine of the first toe and foot section of the written pattern. And what that instructs us to do is with our yarn still attached to the starting toe, we're going to work into the first loose toe and we're going to work four SCs. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. And so we've already got two of our toes attached. Then next we're going to work nine SCs on the second loose toe, which means we're going to work all the way around it. Be sure to count your stitches on these because it's important that we have nine stitches worked on each toe so our decreases work evenly to make the last one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine stitches. So we've worked all the way around that toe and come back to where we started. Now we need to work the five remaining stitches on our middle toe or our first loose toe. So let's jump over to those. One, two, three, four, and five. So we've worked all the way around the first loose toe and the second loose toe, and we're back to our starting toe where our yarn came from initially. So we need to work nine stitches on this toe. And there again, make sure you count this last stitch that is the stitch kind of crossing over is your first stitch that we started on here. So that's gonna be the last stitch of this round. So there's three, six, and nine. So this is our first stitch right here. We're going to do nine stitches on that starting toe. So one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to flatten that out a little bit. Seven. Eight. And nine. So we've got our whole first round done and our three toes are nice and attached and ready to make our foot. 
This round should have 27 stitches, nine on each toe. So then going forward, our decreases should be nice and even. So the first, or the next round, round 10, we're going to do an SC and then a decrease, and we're gonna repeat that nine times so that we get down to 18 stitches. So let's do an SC and then a decrease. And I use an invisible decrease that is worked through the front loops of the stitch. And I will put a link to that invisible decrease in the description for this video. SC. And invisible decrease. That's two. SC and decrease, that's three. SC and decrease, that's four. SC. Sorry, tight stitches. And decrease, that's five. SC. And decrease, six. SC. Decrease, that's seven. SC and decrease, oops. That's eight, and then our last one, SC. Decrease, oops, and we are back to our starting point, if I finish that decrease anyways. There we go. So back to our starting point with only 18 stitches on that round. So now we need to stuff our toes. And to do that, we need to just stick a wad of stuffing down into each toe. I'll pull that out so that I don't lose it while I'm stuffing. And you'll have one more chance to stuff this part of the foot before we close up, so don't stress about that part. Just get the toes stuffed. Our last decrease round is going to be done just nine decreases evenly around and that will get us back to nine stitches so we can make our little toe right here, the last part of our foot. So let's get these last nine decreases. One. apologize for this being kind of hard to see. Not only is it a tight project, it's also small. So that was three, four, five, Seven. Let's push that flat so I can see what I'm doing. Eight. And nine. All 
right, and we are back to where we started, and now we have nine stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, to finish our toe, and then it'll be the same size as the rest of these toes. Now what we're gonna do is work only five rounds even, so these were six rounds even. We're gonna work five rounds even, so this one's just a tiny bit shorter. So I'll work one of those rounds with you, and then I'll let you do the last four. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And you'll see that's just going to be another straight up toe that's nine stitches around. So do five more, or four more rounds, so you have five total of um, SC even rounds, and then we can stuff the last toe. So we finished our four more rounds even, so we have five rounds even total. One, two, three, oh, sorry, let's count from over here. One, two, three, four, five rounds even. And the last thing we need to do before we close our foot and finish it off is to stuff that last little bit of foot in the middle there where our decrease rounds are and stuff this back toe. So let's get this back toe nice and stuffed. And then we can do our decrease round. It's just one decrease round to get us down to six stitches so that we can close. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an SC and then a decrease, and we're going to do that three times. So there's our SC and a decrease. Smush it flat again. SC. And then a decrease. And then one more. Let's see. And maybe. Come in. And a last decrease. There we go. So now we can cut our yarn. Wah. Can't see what I'm doing on camera. Thread this through a needle. So let's thread this end through a needle. And then in order to close this off, We're going to weave our needle through the back loops. Sorry, we have some fuzz there. Back loops of each of those last six stitches. Or I guess that it's the front loop. Sorry, my bad. Leave, weave it through the front loop of the last six stitches. You can do the back loop, but it doesn't look quite the same. And then give it a nice pull. And see, I like this method because it has a little starting flower, very similar to the starting end, so it looks a little bit more uniform. And there you have it. Just weave in your ends and you have your foot. Now I am going to show you one little trick real quick that's not in the written instructions because it's just a optional little trick that I like to use. Um, I like my toes to stay nice and close together. Some people really like them splayed out like foghorn leghorn's feet. I like mine kind of stuck together so that you just see the three little toes. 
in order to stick them together, you thread your tail down through and out the side of one of the toes. It can be either one. And then you're going to go up through the next stitch so that it follows the line of a piece of yarn so that you can't see it. And thread your needle all the way through to the other side of the foot in a nice straight line if you're able. Apparently I'm not. There we go. And then you're going to just very gently pull that tight because if you pull it too tight, he has a dimple in his toe. And then you're going to do the same thing going back the other way. And very gently pull that tight so he doesn't get a toe dimple. That'd be weird. And then you just bind off and weave in on this end. And there you have it. There is your done owl foot all ready to attach to the base of your owl.